Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with a, a familiar face, if you've been watching us over the years, Becky Powell, who's the chief, now the chief strategy officer for Global Travel Collection. Now, what's Global Travel Collection? Well, that is uh, the new name for the group of high-end travel agencies owned by Internova, which itself is a new name. It's the former Travel Leaders Group. So once we get all those names right, Becky, we, we can have an interview here. That's good. But we're going to find out all about that and more. Uh, plus, uh, they recently uh, did a great virtual show uh, earlier this month uh, for all of the global travel collection agencies. We're going to find out about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Becky, first of all, uh, I always ask this question in this, in this era of pandemic, how are you and where are you? Well, I'm healthy, so that's right now, all the counts, and I am actually uh, right outside St. Louis, Missouri, so I've been here since March. I left New York March 13th and been working from my home office since then. Not bad, not bad. It's, uh, you know, I, I, in fact, I would, when I, we got on the uh, on the call just a minute ago, I said, "Oh, we're talking about the weather in New York." I didn't realize I had to worry about the weather in St. Louis. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's beautiful, beautiful fall day here. So now, now uh, as I as I mentioned, uh, Global Travel Collection just create, uh, completed its very first virtual show. Uh, it was called Elevate the Journey, and mm -hmm. these were for all the agency and travel advisor members of the group. Uh, which included uh, the, the, your big two, Pro Travel International and Zelle, and I also believe that uh, Altor was in there too. Yes, we invited our sister company, Altor. So tell us a little bit, how did that show go and what were kind of the highlights in your mind? Well, it went very well. <laughs> we, we were all shocked that it went as well as it did, considering it was really our first uh, first venture into a virtual conference. Uh, but we had a great team who took care to ensure all of our travel advisors were given the opportunities to learn and connect um, as if they were in person at a, at a virtual, I mean, at an actual conference. So we've gotten great feedback uh, that it was the next best thing to being there in person. So it really was well. And some of the highlights included a, a diversity panel, um, we also had Andy Pesky's Lifetime Achievement Award because he's retiring at the end of the year. And then also Virtuoso gave him the Ruby of Siam Award. Yeah, I, did, I, saw was, that. I saw that. And you and I have been at a few of those Ruby of Siam <laughs> Awards, usually given at the uh, Virtuoso Symposiums. And right. I didn't realize that, that Andy was a two, a, a two award winner uh, this past <laughs> I, I should have called him and congratulated him. But yeah, yeah, I know. Achievement, yeah. He was supposed to get that in Vienna in April. Of course, we know that was canceled. So um, Matthew was very nice to uh, give it to him during this, this event. So it worked out well. Um, we also shared some of our results from a traveler survey we did, um, giving our, our advisors an idea of when the travelers are planning to, to travel or when they want to talk about travel and what were their concerns with COVID and what opportunities did the advisors have to sell to their clients and what information clients want to receive right now. So it really was a great survey and gave some, some highlights to our advisors about their clients. Yeah, I saw that survey and we published it. It, it, it does bode well for what's going to happen in, in 2021. And all that was before we had this latest news about right. new vaccines. So right. uh, possibly they're even more optimistic now. Yes, absolutely. Now, um, so, so again, uh, who, who were the travel agencies that attended the show? I did mention three of them, Altour, and then obviously pro, the, the combined Pro Travel uh, International slash Zelle, and you have some others there too, right? We have In the Know Experiences, uh, Colette's Travel out of London. Um, we actually had, had a special segment for our UK advisors. We also had um, um, In the Know, Colette's Art, Art Caruso, and Andrew Harper. You've got too many. You're, you're, you're forgetting who you get on the group. I tell you, no, I, I, I have forget to do it. them all in order. I have to do them in order. No, it's true. But I look, I'm, I'm still working on the new uh, global travel collection. And then your, your parent company name, Internova, which is finally yeah. starting to, uh, I, I finally is, is slipping out of the tongue now a little more. Uh, <laughs> Now, now, uh, now, with the success of this show, and I know this kind of parrots uh, live shows that you've had for just your, I mean, it used to be called 
uh, travel leaders, uh, um, luxury travel, it had several names. Elite. Elite. Yeah. So, okay. You see yeah. there, I'm still stumbling over the names, but the, 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 there was a group of those, those boutique, not boutique, but very large luxury focused mm-hmm. agencies that had these shows. And I remember attending one in New York. Uh, it was one of the first, I think, when you had a yes. lot of, they all came together. So this kind of parrots that and adds in a lot more. Uh, we'll, but, but I assume you're going to do live shows, but will you continue to add in this virtual component, do you believe? Well, I mean, it's a little murky right now, the crystal ball, but I really feel like there's going to be a place in the future for both um, because we have so many offices uh, throughout the U.S. Historically, the the shows were always uh, New York and Los Angeles area. Well, we have, you know, big offices in Chicago, uh, down in Florida, um, so this really gave an opportunity to advisors to participate who normally couldn't come to our show. And with adding the educational elements, not just for leisure, but we did um, sessions for our entertainment agents, our corporate agents. This really does um, allow us to do more um, going into the future. So I think there is going to be a place for virtual conferences in the future forever. Um, I think we'll have to find that balance as to what right. works and really, um, you know, see, see how we in, be inclusive to everyone. Yeah, no, absolutely. And of course, uh, I mean, the bur- worst thing about these shows, you don't get to see everybody, you know, and, right. and give, them, give them a hug or even, even an elbow bump these days. But, right. uh, but, but the, the, the best thing though, I, I found as a journalist, because of course, uh, not, not surprisingly, we are besieged by, uh, we, we don't just attend your show. We attend about four others at the same exactly. time. And, and your show was great because you could actually go back and, and look at panels and things that, uh, you mm-hmm. didn't get a chance to, to see because they're there. They're, they're just right. This, yeah, we're going to keep the sessions on the platform that we use for 30 days. So even advisors, you know, who, who couldn't even attend the show, maybe for some reason, can now go back in and actually listen to all the panels or the, or the educational sessions that we had. No, that's great uh, all around. I mean, that's a problem when I go to live shows, I can't see everything. So right. uh, now you really can't see. And also your attendance, I, I understand, was, was very good, probably more than it would have been, right? Right. We had 846 advisors. Our goal was 500, so we far exceeded that. And we had 228 uh, partners. So um, we were very, very pleased with the attendance. Actually, we started out with just a two-day event, and we had so many people wanting to participate. We had to go to three days. And we ended up at three and a half days because we just couldn't fit everything in. So it was quite a surprise to us. Well, you don't, you don't have to pay extra for the meeting room. So you're okay, right? <laughs> That's right. So uh, maybe just for the server time, we'll see what happens. But uh, now, now let's, let's shift over to another topic. Um, uh, uh, obviously, we've been watching as you sort of integrated all these agencies now under global travel collection, but mm-hmm. the, the big, the big integration was pro travel international. Uh, you, you formerly served as president of pro travel international right. or coming a chief strategy officer for global travel collection, but the integration of pro travel international and Zelle, how is that going now? And, and was this virtual show sort of more evidence as how to the two agencies are combining? Well, we're, we're really pleased with how it's going uh, with the launch of Global Travel Collection because what this allowed was agents who really had a loyalty to their brand, whether it be Pro Travel or Zelle, could continue using that brand. And because we all know they were very, um, you know, very connected to it, whether it be, you know, from the founders who started both of those companies to, you know, e- either the, the pr- current presidents myself being pro and Cindy Schlansky and Monty Sweeney for for Zell, we all got to stay in this organization. So it really did serve the best way to bring us together and then launch us under Global Travel Collection. So I, I couldn't be more pleased. And I think the advisors are very happy because they were worried that one brand would, would stand out amongst, you know, over the other. Right. And we said, Use whatever brand you want, you know, whatever you want. You're an independent contractor. We can't tell you what brand to use, but we're going to have this kind of umbrella called Global Travel Collection. 
and under Internova, and it, it couldn't have gone any better. It really is a, a great um, kind of, you know, compromise to every what everyone was worried about. No, absolutely. It was in, uh, and I guess that was my next question is, is where have there been challenges with integrating the two cultures? Because, I mean, it's funny, if you look back at the founding of Pro Travel and the founding of Zelle, were led by two very strong personalities when they were all way back when, uh, that, that, to put it mildly, they were both New Yorkers, uh, right. uh, but, but they, they definitely were different agencies. And a lot of, of the, the, the members, the travel advisors who had affiliated with them had strong allegiances to both. So now you're, you, you're sort of getting them into being a strong allegiance to this combined agency entity and, and even to the new, the new name, the Global Travel uh, Collection. Yeah. Well, you know, before, you know, before we did this, uh, Pro and Zell actually shared office space in Manhattan. Right. So we had the two headquarters, which were sharing office space. And I remember when we were doing that, the whole industry was like, oh my gosh, this will never work. Well, guess what? It worked and it worked beautifully. <laughs> and so, and then we share office space in Boston. You know, we actually had already come together. We weren't strangers. So we knew right. each other in a lot of cases. And I think the industry loved to gossip more than actually the people who were <laughs> sharing the offices. So it was kind well, of- Well, you know, we love to, to gossip. You know that, Becky. <laughs> We, we like, we like, we, we like uh, tension, you know, but, uh, yeah. but no, it sounds like it's all gone very well. And yeah, I know it's going great. It yeah. really has. It really has. And, you know, we've taken the best of both, you know, Zell's a little more fun. So we've added some fun to pro and pro is a little more conservative. So we've, we've added a little more formal structure for Zell. So, uh, but it's, it's really, it's been well done. It really has. Now, uh, is there any chance that someday you'll, that, that those names will disappear? Or do they have too much brand equity, both of the Pro Travel and the Zelle? And, of course, now you've got the overarching umbrella brand, the Global Travel Collection. You know, again, it goes back to our independent contractors. Whatever brands they want to affiliate with, and then we'll, we'll just have to play it by ear. There's no, there's no intent to do away with one brand over the other, as you you know, as I listed, there are a lot of brands, not just Pro and Zell. So there's Andrew Harper, R. Caruso, Colette, and the No. You know, everyone has their own brand. So we're we're not we have no plans of doing away with anything. Okay. Now, now, obviously, with Global Travel Collection, is is this intended to be a consumer facing brand eventually, or uh, how is this? And, and how is this group being positioned to help everyone in it, all these different agencies? Uh, uh, I guess that that's, you know, we looked at it, we, we announced it as a brand, there's a logo and everything. So I, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of fig- trying to figure out the future for Global Travel Collection, what it will become. You know, it, again, it's all kind of new. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to have a brand that all of the other brands could come underneath within Internova. Because, you know, you have Altor, which does all the corporate. You've got Travel Leaders Group, which has the Consortia Travel Leaders Network. So, you you know, we needed something that identified all the luxury uh, companies that Internova owns. So just like Internova, that's what Global Travel Collection is. Will it become a consumer brand? I mean, we don't have that, you know, And again, in our our plans for the the future, um, we're about our independent contractors and their brands, what they want to promote. So uh, Global Travel Collection was just to identify the luxury companies under Internova. So we know when you see uh, Global Travel Collection, we know that's a luxury brand underneath the Internova. uh, Exactly. Yeah, so Travel Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and I guess that goes, uh, what, what do you think the future holds uh, for both the combined pro travel uh, international Zell and also for global travel collection? H- how are you going to continue to make, you know, build synergies that will really unify all your luxury focused and high end agencies? Really to, um, to come like elevate the journey to bring these brands together and, and share knowledge, share best practices of more formalized in our processes to making sure that everyone's doing the same or collecting data the same. 
So um, that's how we'll bring it together and making sure that we have the same operating platforms, um, all of that. So we're, we're excited because we're able to take the best of whatever company there is under Global Travel Collection and implement that across all the brands. No, that's wonderful. And uh, uh, con- uh, well, first of all, congratulations on, on the, the new virtual show. And I, I hope you have success with that in the future. Although, boy, we want to get back to live, don't we? <laughs> uh, but is there anything else you want to tell our uh, 100,000 travel advisors out there about how all this is playing out uh, and, and with the new glo- global travel collection and all that's, all that's going on? Well, um, if you're looking for a luxury travel, um, you know, home, we definitely would love to connect. But beyond that, I think, you know, we want to tell our travel advisors from all parts of the industry to stay strong. You know, people want to travel. We found that in our survey. They can't wait to, you know, plan their next vacation. They want to connect with you. So, you know, if you are even not part of our organization, make sure you're connecting with your clients. Just check in. How are you doing? Thinking about you because they think of you as one of your of their family. So we want to make sure that you stay connected with them and really show them that you're you're really value their relationship. So we are headed toward better days. So everyone stay strong, and uh, we are all in this together. Well, Becky, I want to thank you for the, taking the time uh, uh, to tell us about, first of all, Elevate the Journey, the new virtual show, uh, the, the status of global travel collection, and of course, uh, the merged uh, Pro Travel International and Zell. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was more than a year ago, we did a live interview when we were out at the Virtuoso <laughs> Network together right, when we were in, at the Bellagio. I, I, I love seeing you, but I prefer that. <laughs> I, I do too, James. I, I do as well. So I miss you. <laughs> we miss you too. And uh, it's great to see you again. Thank you very much for all the information about this. And we'll hopefully see you soon. Great. Thank you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>